Hello fellas, we're back down here at the shooting house project. It's today is October the 12th. And when we started this project, it was like 95 degrees. Today, right now, it is 38 degrees. I think this is weekend number four on the uh, shooting house here. So we've got about a month in this project so far, but we're only been working the weekends. And um, I've came over here two or three times during the week just to do one or two little things just to help progress the progress on this thing. We've got a roof that I made at the shop. I prefabbed the whole roof at the shop where I had the tools and it just made it a whole lot easier to do it there. We've got it on the back of this gooseneck trailer and our goal today is to get that roof up there. And we're not exactly sure yet how we're going to do that, but I've brought another boom pole that I'm going to attach to the front of this tractor. And I'm hoping that that's going to get us high enough to get that on there. But man, I'll tell you what, that's awful tall. I'm looking at it right now and the roof is going to be 30 feet in the air. I don't know if we can get that tall or not. If we can't, then I'll have to add some more length to the boom pole and we'll try again tomorrow. But I'm hoping that we're going to be able to reach the top of that and get that roof on today. We'll do some video of that throughout the process of what we got going on. And hopefully we don't have any major catastrophes with this boom. I've got two of my dogs with me. I've got two of my dogs with me today. We've got Rogue down there. She's tied up on the leash. She hasn't been coming with me very much lately because she's had some leg surgery and she's been on a restriction. She's still on restriction. That's why I've got to keep her tied up. I can't let her go running off in the woods and get behind a deer or something and, and chase it all the way across the farm. Lapua, on the other hand, he's healthy as a horse, so he can run and do whatever he wants to do. But Lapua is... Uh, or, or rogue I should say rogue is restrained to the leash today so I'm not being mean to her for any un special reasons so I just don't want you guys to think I'm being mean to rogue and keeping her tied up but she's tied up for a reason because she is not allowed to run or jump so I got to keep her uh, restrained Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off the camera, start unloading some stuff. Kyle Pittman's on his way up here. I say he'll be here within the next half an hour or so. And we're going to start trying to put this roof on the shooting house. Hello, guys. We're back, and we've got the boom pole put on the tractor. Um, we've got the roof hooked up to the boom pole. And we're going to make an attempt to set this up on top of that shooting house that... I'm going to guess is 15, 25 feet. We got to get it at least 25 feet in the air. Um, we've got it strapped on. Now, bring you on in and I'll show you what we rigged up here. This is just an old piece of channel iron that I picked up a, at a scrap place somewhere. And it's, I got two of these and I was going to build a trailer out of them. But it's been years, and I just haven't built the trailer, so I came up with a use for it. So it's a piece of 4-inch channel iron, and then it's got a piece of 3-inch I-beam welded in between it. And what this used to be was a trolley system at a railroad where they had all these hoses hanging on this trolley. And depending on whether they need diesel fuel or water or sand put in the locomotives, they just roll these hoses back and forth on these trolleys, and they was literally... They was probably a hundred yards of these things with hoses hanging all over them. But I managed to get some of these out when we tore it down years ago, and I've been trying to come up with a use for one, so I did it. So we just made a bracket that goes around here. They're strapped to the forks. You can see up here we've got two straps as kind of like a, I guess you would maybe call these a gusset or an extra support that goes out about halfway to the beam. And then we have welded on a one and a half by one and a half square tube out here at an angle so that when we get pitched up real high, the roof can still be hanging straight and not be hitting this beam. And I threw in a two by two angle iron here as a gusset. Now, once we put this roof on here, I don't know if I'll ever use this thing again, 
but I'll keep it and I'll just take it back, set it in the woods somewhere. And if I ever need this thing again, I'll have it. We, who knows, we may wind up building another one of these shooting houses somewhere, but we probably won't ever have to build one quite this high again. So we're gonna make an attempt. I got Kyle on the video camera. He's gonna kind of follow the tractor around and uh, see what we can do. Once we get this up on the top, we'll probably turn the video camera off because we're gonna need both men up there to get it in position. And um, it should sit right on there if, if all my measurements and calculations came out correct. So here we go, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna move real slow and uh, you won't be able to hear me talking. I probably won't even be talking while the tractor's on. something we're going to have to do right now and that's take some slack out of that rope it might wind up to where that rope don't even work and we'll have to put a chain on it but we was hoping we could use rope to start with but we're going to have to take all this slack out so that it doesn't have so much stretch to it okay guys we retied this i took all the slack out of the rope i didn't know how much it was going to stretch and it looked like it was going to stretch way too much so we took all the slack out hopefully this will get it this time we've tied it off here on a 2 by 12 or 2 by 4 by 12 foot long we got it tied off right there so there's not quite so much pressure against the ropes and the leaning on our sheet metal and we put an old rag in between the sheet metal and the rope to keep it from cutting the rope and there's only two of us down here today I'm going to be on the tractor, so I should be in the safe zone. And Kyle's going to just stay back out of the way and run the video camera. If something happens and this thing breaks and it falls to the ground and it's a $200 roof shot to pieces, at least nobody's dead, so we don't care about that. The roof can be fixed or repaired or replaced. But we got to make sure that nobody gets hurt. That's the important part. We do some risky things, me and Kyle. We've done some pretty dangerous stuff over the years, but we always make sure that we take precautions and try to think about the outcome. So here we go, we're gonna try it again. <laughs>
Well guys, that went pretty good overall. I can't get it set on there just exactly right, but it doesn't weigh that much. So me and Kyle, we're gonna climb up there now, put it in position. We should be able to just lift it up and move it around and set it down. We've got notches and I've got some metal brackets and everything should line up pretty good. So we're gonna shut the camera off for now, but I wanted to show you guys how we was gonna put that up there. And I have to say it worked out pretty well. Um, it would be a lot easier if we wasn't on the hillside, but you can't see it probably that drastic in the camera. But we're on a hill and that's straight. So even though the, the, the top is sitting up there like that, but we've got it on there pretty close. I had it really close once and then when I went to raise it up, it kind of sprung. There's a lot of spring in that rope and flex in that beam. And it kind of started slingshotting around. So I think we're good enough now to just call it quits and we'll go up and move it the rest of the way by hand. But the hard part's over, at least it's up there. So come on, let's go on up there and we'll move it around. Well, fellas, the roof is on, screwed down and secured. Now all we gotta do is back this tractor out of the way. We're gonna take our boom pole off, put our mobile scaffolding back on and retire that boom pole i don't know when the next time will be when i need to use that again but if we ever need it we know we can get 25 feet high or a little more so that's what we got we're making progress <laughs> 